Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Marvel Snap. It's me, Kay. I'm here to show you another deck archetype. Hopefully we have uh, some good results with it. Now we've looked at cards that do things when they're revealed. We've looked at cards that do things as long as they're on the board. We've looked at cards that destroy other cards. What about cards that don't do anything? Yes, there is an archetype around cards that don't do anything. Wasp here doesn't do anything. We're adding her to the deck. Uh, we got... Who else doesn't do anything? Misty Knight doesn't do anything. Add her to the deck. Mm, you got a few more that don't do anything. Uh, let's see here. I know there's at least a two drop that doesn't. It's hard to sort by cards that don't do anything. Ah, Shocker doesn't do anything. Add them. Now, what else we got here? Brood adds two cards to the deck. It does something, but these Brood don't do anything. Add them. So that's two cards that don't do anything in, in for the price of one. Uh, Mr. Sinister up here somewhere. I saw him just a minute ago, didn't I? Oh, maybe I didn't. Uh, where are old Mr. Sinister at? Where are you at, Sinister? I know you're in here. You're a two drop. Oh, there he is. Add a Sinister Clone to the location. Doesn't do anything. Add that. Okay. Oh, that reminds me. Squirrel Girl. Let's grab her. She she adds two cards that don't do anything. You know what? I won't add Squirrel Girl. We're already uh, pretty cheap in here. I'm going to instead add Debris, who adds rocks that don't do anything, but also adds rocks that don't do anything to the other player. So that's good. Now, why does this matter? Because your cards with no abilities have plus two power. Patriot. Add them. We want also Mystique. Last card you played is an ongoing copy its text. You want to play Patriot, then you want to play Mystique. That would give all your cards plus four power, basically. And now we're in the value realm. Cyclops. Doesn't do anything. Add him. Uh, we got a four drop somewhere that doesn't do anything. Yep, thing. Doesn't do anything. Add him. Five drop that doesn't do anything. A bomb. Add him. And finally, we could do Hulk, who doesn't do anything, but there's a better option if you have him. Uh, and I do. Where where are you, my boy? There you are. Ultron. Create four one-power drones at each other location. They don't do anything, so add him. Wonderful finishing card. Okay, we're going to try this. Around the concept of just not doing anything in order to win. We'll see how this goes. Graham. Introverted. Me too. Okay, well that's good. We're gonna drop Misty Knight and Wasp right there and probably cause him to quit. <laughs> he might actually quit because we're, we're already ahead on the cards at the raft. Oh, he lost his Morb. That's good. Blade's just a powerful one drop at three power. Lamentus one, draw three cards, destroy both decks. That's a problem, but I did get the Patriot that I needed. So that's fine. I can still win this. Let's play Mr. Sinister. He'll create another Sinister clone and that will be great for us. We will have a random six cost card that costs nothing. What do we get? Apocalypse. That's pretty good. That's eight power for nothing. Yeah, I'll take it. You play a three or four cost card, move it here. Sure. Okay. Uh, we're gonna play him right here and he's gonna be moved over, but he's gonna make some nice things for us on the way out. So that's fine. Also, let's play Apocalypse here while we're at it. Make some brood. Zoop. Those weren't played, so they remain, even though they are three cost cards for the intents and purposes of the game. Okay, so now we play Patriot over here at Asteroid M. This is where he loses. Collector, I'm going to snap because I am so, so kicking his ass right now. Uh, we're playing A Bomb. Sometimes snapping is bad because you scare him off, but he's going to stay. He's sticking around for it. Dracula is now there. Okay. Dracula. And Shocker here. That gives us a pretty significant... Why did you retreat now after you'd accepted the snap and cost yourself two? Okay, well, that's a win. So off to a good start. 
Got some upgrades for Brood. I don't have any credits left today. I'll have to get some more tomorrow when my uh, daily missions reset. You get more, like two more missions every eight hours, I think. So you get a total of six a day for a total of 450 credits worth of stuff every day. Which is enough to upgrade uh, card. Um, uh, well, considering you get 50 free credits every day, that is 500 credits, which is enough to upgrade any card at its max level. So that's pretty good. CB7, friendly neighbor. We shall see about that. Oh, I got my Ultron. Good. Danger Room. Cards played here have a 25% chance to be destroyed. Okay, so that's a little scary. We're going to be careful about that. We're just dropping Wasp here because we don't want to drop him in Danger Room yet. Asteroid M. If you play a 3 or 4 cost card, move it here. That's fine. I'm going to fill that up so it can't do that to me because that can be disruptive to my plans. Get Shocker down. Okay, we're ready for stuff there. Okoye, his whole deck gets plus one. Mmm. Card's not in his hand, at least. Stuff that was already in his hand won't get it. The peak. All right. Eh, that wasn't great. That didn't do me a lot of favors, to be honest with you. Mr. Sinister, would you be so kind as to make a Sinister clone and hopefully not get blown up? The clone can't be. It's not being played. It's just being created. But Sinister can absolutely get zapped by a big old laser that will pop out of that location and get rid of him. Well, the peak really messed me up pretty bad. That wasn't good at all. I don't like the peak. Sometimes the peak is hilariously overpowered. Like, if you get Iron Man with the peak, he becomes a, a zero-cost five-power card with his regular text that doubles the power of that location. <laughs> he becomes busted, for example. But a lot of cards become very bad with the peak. Storm. Okay, got rid of the danger room. I appreciate that. I'm fine with that. Okay, so now it's flooding. His last turn cards can be played here. So we want to drop... Oh, Cyclops has a nice little effect there, and he, he hits the, the nameplates. It's cute. Uh, Cyclops will get played here. If they play a 3 or a 4 cost, it will get yanked to Asteroid M, so that's fine. I should be able to win flooding, especially when Patriot drops. Yeah, they've lost flooding. Scarlet Witch changes the peak into something else. Changes it to Rickety Bridge. After each turn, if there are more than one card here, destroy them. Great. Well, bye. <laughs> that's unfortunate yeah that, that didn't go well for you okay play Patriot Patriot's gonna give plus two power to Wasp, Shocker, Cyclops and the Sinister clone not to Mr. Sinister because he has an ability he causes a Sinister clone to be placed Quake rearranging the board uh oh 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 shit blew up my whole thing damn that's brutal Wow, what a turnaround. We, we lost all our shit there, both of us, though. So, I mean, that's okay. All right, and then for the final turn, I can probably tie him at Flooded with Ultron, and I will fill Rickety Bridge. So I should still win, actually. I don't think he wanted to wipe himself out there. I think he wanted to wipe my, my Sinister Clone out. But, you know, it worked out pretty well for him. Okay, so I'm going to win, because I'm going to tie him at both locations then. Yep. <laughs> Good game, my man. That was a weird game. A weird game, but a very cool one. So, yeah, that worked even without Patriot, because he fell off a bridge and died. But we still got it. We still got it. Okay. So, hey, that was pretty cool. We're two wins. Morag, you can't play your first card here each turn. That's important. We'll have to be careful and get something onto Morag, preferably the Brood if we can. That would get us a lot of cards at Morag. But if we draw, like, uh, the Wasp, that would be great. Shanna the She-Devil. Okay, so Shanna, add a random one-cost card to each location. Uh, she, she was created by the hub. You get a random card at the hub. And not to be confused with the Hut which is where you get pizza in the 90s. You can go get a Pizzone at The Hut. You remember when Pizza Hut called itself The Hut for a while? That was a bad choice. The Nexus. Okay, so... Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, so I'm going to play Wasp here, and we're going to drop Brood over here, and that's going to help us out a whole hell of a lot, and I like that. 
Next turn is Cyclops at Nexus, followed by A-Bomb at Nexus. We're just trying for Nexus, man. All right, Wasp there to enable us to play a second card, because that was my first card. Cosmo, that's fine. I don't use on reveal in this deck. Except maybe Ultron. We'll see. Cyclops. They think I'm doing something that I'm not doing, I guess. I don't know. But we we got good control of Morag now. It's very hard to play at Morag. So. We got good control. There's the, the there's the thing. Ooh. Okay. We need A bomb down. For nice big bonus. Patriot is ongoing, not on reveal, so Cosmo doesn't interact with him at all. I think Mr. Go's in some trouble here. We'll see. We'll see what he's up to. He could still pull something pretty nasty here. I'm going to snap next turn if he doesn't drop Patriot. If I don't see Patriot, I'm snapping. There's Patriot. I ain't snapping because next up comes Ultron at the hub. And that will become a pretty nasty place over there. Okay, Patriot. Make me much more powerful, please. I'll get plus two to A-Bomb, Wasp, and Cyclops. So I'll have another six, seven from Patriot. So that'll be 21 power there. Good. Doctor Doom. Ooh, interesting. Okay. And Wasp. Uh, yeah. Barely managed to win there. Good game. Very close game. Wow. Doctor Doom was a good play. Yeah, he got me. I'm glad I didn't snap. Oh, yeah, I didn't trust it because Patriot. I thought something was going to happen there. And that's why you don't snap if you don't feel confident about it. I thought I'd win, but I wasn't sure as soon as Patriot dropped. I was like, hmm, there might be something bad there. Machine World, after you play a card here, add a copy to the opponent's hand. That is pretty good, because all my cards suck, comparatively. Like, Patriot's what makes them good. So as long as I don't play Patriot there, I'm actually in pretty good shape. Miniaturized Lab, okay, on turns 3, 4, and 5, no cards can be added here. We're gonna play Shocker. This is the last turn we can play there till the last turn of the game, so we'll just pop Shocker down there. Okay. The killing. You can't play cards here after turn four. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and drop the brood. Right there. And then we'll drop Patriot at the kiln so that he can't get the ability from it. And then we'll drop Mystique on Machine World because he doesn't have any on reveals to take advantage of Mystique, so she's kind of a dead card. Patriot there. Drop Mystique next, followed by Misty Knight and Yondu at Machine World. There's Nova. Yeah, my Patriot drops. Good. Okay, now Mystique's going to do me some good here, though. Watch. Mystique. That's the last card you played has an ongoing. Yes, that is true. Okay, and we're also going to drop Mr. Sinister here. And that should be... No, no, I don't really need to. I drop... Same difference if I drop Misty Knight and Yondu. I still destroy a card of his, so that's pretty good. Wave. All cards cost four. Cool. Well, I know where A-Bomb's going for four costs. That's fine. He's going on Miniaturize Lab on the final turn. And now we've stolen Kiln from him. We've got it. I could just drop A-Bomb at Machine World now that it's pretty much filled. So I think what I'm going to do... Well, no, because if he's playing something to destroy Nova, he'd lose more power than he gained, though, so he's kind of screwed. I'm going to drop A-Bomb at the Miniaturized Lab. I don't think he can win. I will snap. I don't think this man can win this. No card I can think of that will win this. Let's see. Death. Yeah, that's big, and Killmonger. That didn't help you very much. No. That didn't win you the location. Mm-mm. You won Machine World, but who cares? I still win. Nice, got four cubes out of that. Victory. Victory. So this is working pretty good. We got to see the, the Patriot Mystique combo go off, which is a very powerful combo. Oh, I've got some more Season Pass EXP. 15 boosters for... For loading. Okay. I think the servers might have crashed. Huh.
think the servers just went down, probably for maintenance, actually. Sometimes the game does go down for maintenance. I think it did. So this is going to be a very short episode. Uh, we'll, we'll find out more stuff next time. I think you've seen enough of this deck anyway to get an idea for how it works. We played three games with it, and it won all of them, so... Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later with some more Marvel Snap content. Sorry for the short episode today. Thank you all for watching. Bye-bye for now. <laughs>